In RAF training centers at home and overseas, graduates of the finest Air Force in the world are studying for a profession which has won immortal glory in the greatest aerial war of all time. In the classrooms where heroes are born, skilled instructors school their pupils in navigation and course plotting, just one of the many and varied subjects in the curriculum of aviation. A practical demonstration with a dismounted engine. Other recruits with scale models study the design of different types of foreign aircraft. The student wireless operators master the technique of wireless telegraphy, sending and receiving Morse signals. Each of these subjects demands a high degree of intellect. When any of our aircraft go into action, brains are at the controls. In the link trainer, a pupil pilot experiences all the sensations of a plane in flight. With the hood drawn over the cockpit, he learns to fly by his instrument panel, blind flying. Instructors follow his actions at the controls and check his thoughts through a microphone. A recording instrument traces out the course he has taken, later to be studied for mistakes, if any. Yet another class is studying flash lamp signaling, a form of communication much used by our coastal command for transmitting messages to ships at sea. And now we approach the time when we see the trainees about to take to the air, when they will put into practice all they have learnt. On the tarmac assemble these men with wings, pilots, navigators, wireless operators and gunners. Maps and parachute harness are checked. The ground staff have assembled the planes and there they are. Like great falcons attending their masters, they stand ready waiting. Contact. There's music in those roaring exhausts. It's a symphony of singing steel. And as the mammoth engines warm up, the planes begin to wheel about and prepare to take off into the wind. In the cabin, pilot and instructor. It's high adventure. In a little while, taking off, banking, zooming, twisting, turning, will all be as easy as they said it would be, when you know how. But he and his fellow pupils are in the air, and there's a war on. Fine, they've been waiting for this. And down below, hundreds of others are marching into that lecture room, studying, listening, writing, learning. And more men are wanted to fall in and fly. <laughs> 